UTIs. I hate them. <laughs> How do you feel about UTIs? Have you struggled throughout your life with the pain and irritation that comes from a UTI? Well, I have, and I have known what a UTI feels like since I was a teenager. Now, I'm 48 years old. I'm too old to worry about embarrassing talk. <laughs> so I've always told my kids, ask me anything. Talk to me about anything, no matter how embarrassing it is, because I'd rather them talk to me about it than go out and ask the world. And we have had some embarrassing conversations throughout <laughs> their years. They're all grown young adults, one's married. But today, this talk might, be ha might have a little bit too much information for you. So if you find yourself embarrassed, well, I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> but I'm gonna let you know all the secrets of preventing UTIs. And hopefully you'll learn something and hopefully you will prevent your next UTI. But with that, I'm going to read a scripture that is close to my heart because I love the scriptures where Jesus shows how much he loves women and how important women are to him. No matter how busy he is, no matter what is going on, he stops everything to help women and make them feel special. So this is the story that um, where Jesus heals a bleeding woman and restores a girl to life. So when this is from Mark 5, 21 through 34. Jesus heals a bleeding woman and restores a girl to life. When Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue rulers named Jairus came there. Seeing Jesus, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him. My little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see people crowding against you, his disciples answered, and yet you ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet, trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Now, I love that story and all the stories of healings that Jesus did in the Bible, but I truly love the ones that happen for women. Now I wanna to talk to you about <laughs> what helped me with my UTI problem. So the last UTI I had was at the beginning of the COVID pandemic when we couldn't get toilet paper. So we got this great idea to buy a bidet. <laughs> and so I used it for a couple months, wondering the whole time if this was going to cause UTI problems for obvious reasons like E. coli causes UTIs and you're never supposed to wipe from back to front. So I kept wondering, how is this bidet not gonna spray what's in the back up to the front? But I researched and researched and researched and there was nothing that said that bidets could cause UTIs, but they can cause yeast infections. So I continued to use it for about two months and then kablam, I got one of the worst UTIs I had ever had. Plus I was under severe COVID anxiety. This was before I started taking medication for anxiety 
I was in the worst state of my life. So anxiety can cause UTIs. I don't know if bidets cause UTIs. I'm not saying that, but <laughs> I think it happened for me. So I got the worst UTI ever. It took three rounds of antibiotics. One antibiotic was so strong that it started giving me tingly hands and fingers. And so that one had to be stopped immediately because those side effects can be permanent. That's fun. So I started researching and researching and lo and behold, I found Euquora. Now you might have heard about Euquora and this is not a paid ad. Euquora did not pay me to make this video. I have not given Euquora a review in two years because I wanted to make sure that it really has been working for me. So I started taking this two years ago and during that time I did go on anxiety medication. My anxiety got taken care of and my whole body and system started getting back to normal. But I have noticed if I ever feel any sort of the start of a UTI, I will drink a lot of this. This is the Eucora Target. So there's many different things that cause UTIs and this is where we're gonna get a little bit descriptive here. <laughs> so I hope you know that you are supposed to pee before and after having sex. That's number one. But I had always done that. So um, number two, or this could be number one, because this is something I didn't know. I've been married for 25 years. I never knew that Astroglide and KY have things in it that kills your good bacteria, therefore makes you your resistance weaker and causes more UTIs. Now, we've used that throughout our whole marriage, but I think now that I'm getting older, closer to perimenopause, that um, UTIs start to become more of an issue. So, we were told to stop using those things and use pure organic coconut oil. So, that's what we've been doing for about a year. And so, <laughs> it's been good. Another thing is, don't wash your female parts with fragrance and chemicals. So y'all should know I love Polish Choice and Polish Choice is what I use for my face, but they also have body products. So this is all over hair and body shampoo with no fragrance, no chemicals. Now, I don't know why Vagisil and stuff like that doesn't make a product that is fragrance free since it's supposed to be for female issues, but I don't use it because it has fragrance. And I don't want any fragrance touching that area since I've had <laughs> these UTIs. So that has helped. Okay, this is going to be a real embarrassing one and a big bummer <laughs> if you like spontaneity. So I have found that anytime before we are going to engage in sexual activity. I make sure I'm completely clean, especially if there's been a bowel movement any time in the recent history. Because again, E. coli is what causes UTIs. And not only do I make sure I'm clean, I make sure he is too. <laughs> So that has made a big difference. So I'm sorry if this is embarrassing and too much information, but these are some things that if you're newly married, someone's got to tell you. So let that be me. Now back to Eucora. Eucora is about $60 a month. And for me, that is worth it. And why am I putting this on a workout channel? <laughs> because this is part of my workout routine. Every morning I wake up, I take my Eucora. So I've already taken it today, so I'm not gonna take it again. So you're going to take two of these little yellow pills. They're yellow because they're full of turmeric. And so turmeric is one of the good things to keep UTIs away. So this has vitamin D, which is great for women, D mannose, which I had already been taking. If you get UTIs, you should know that you need to take D mannose. So this has it in there green tea extract. Did you know green tea is good for 
UTIs or for preventing them and black pepper powder. So this, when I used to buy everything separately, it cost probably more than what it cost to have Eucora make it and have it ready for me. Then this one is, oh, this was another thing. I started buying vaginal probiotics. And so this Eucora includes a vaginal probiotic with 10 billion CFU. And that keeps me from having to go out and buy all these different things at different places. So the, this one, you're gonna take one of these a day. So this is the size of the pill. All right, so I do this once a day. So another trigger for UTIs, exercise. Did you know that when you get sweaty and exercise, that could be harboring bacteria to give you a UTI? So this nice little packet right here is chock full of vitamin C and all kinds of good stuff to help your body besides your um, UTI. So this is a glass of water. I'm just gonna put the powder into my glass of water and I'm going to let it dissolve some. So now this is recommended to use anytime you feel like a UTI might be coming on or after every sexual encounter or after any hard workout. Some people get UTIs from taking a bath. I think it's because they put bubble bath in it and they put fragrances in their bath. So I have not been triggered with baths because I don't put anything in my bath. I just use all natural, no fragrance, nothing. If I put anything in my bath, it'll be Epsom salt with no fragrance. So this is all dissolved now. This is my pink stuff. So I'll drink this anytime I feel like I've been triggered to get a UTI. So it tastes like pink lemonade. It's not fizzy. It tastes like crystal light, like a, a sweet crystal light lemonade. All right, so another change I made. These Columbia pants. See, they're so nice and breathable. I can do all my exercises in these. They don't constrict me. Sometimes if you're in tight workout pants, it'll keep everything too confined and that could cause use infections or UTIs. So I love these. They're professional, I could wear them when I train clients, but then I also can work out in them. I could do squats, I could do a whole workout in these, and they're just nice, they're water resistant, they have SPF, so they are my Columbia pants that I love. So I hope that you have learned something today about how to prevent UTIs, because I know how painful they can be. And I know how scary they can be when you go and sit on the toilet and out comes a bunch of blood and you feel like you're peeing glass. That's no fun. <laughs> so if that happens to you, get straight to the doctor because I'm not telling you that any of this is going to replace antibiotics. So if you are in pain and you have gotten to the point where you have blood and you're peeing glass shards, <laughs> then doctor time antibiotics because nothing's going to make that UTI go away on its own. If you try to ignore it, it will turn into a kidney infection and it could turn into a staph infection or something bad. So you don't want that to happen. So get that taken care of and use Eucora and all these other methods to help prevent your next UTI. So I will see you tomorrow for another video of some sort. <laughs> see you then. Thanks. Bye-bye.